And that is an alligator lizard. He is not injured, actually. So, I think one of the things with these guys, because, I mean, like, look around right now, because, like, it kind of looks like we're devastating the ecosystem of the environment, right? But these guys <laughs> pre-existed any humans on this continent. And they lived here for millions of years before the first human ever walked on this continent. And they'll probably still outlive us. So even though the fire looks devastating, a lot of times from like my, my wildland fire experience, you know, I've seen a lot of dead animals. But a lot of times when we do these prescribed fires, we don't see a lot of dead animals afterwards. So that either means that these guys know how to get away <laughs> or they're not around when we burn. So definitely don't let the fire kind of like make you think that we're killing these guys because, I mean, I've been doing this for a few years now and I've never seen a fried lizard yet. I mean, we've definitely seen injured ones. Uh, doing guys, prescribed fire. Doing prescribed fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and I, I know that, uh, uh, you know, large woody debris, large logs is one of the ways that those things in a, in a, in a normal... You know, historic fire environment, they would they would take shelter on those bigger, larger, exactly. larger so tree logs, um, right? We, we call those uh, microhabitats because it's different than the surroundings.